Hello everyone, my name is Kaidi. I'm from Archimedes Foundation from the project Study in Estonia. And today we're going to tell you more about scholarships and how to apply for them and what kind of different opportunities do you, do you have to fund your studies. So let's start off and uh, let's start off with uh, bachelor level uh, scholarships. So if you're interested in studying in Estonia on a bachelor level, uh, what kind of opportunities do you have to finance your uh, living and uh, tuition fee costs? First of all, there is the Estonian National Scholarship Program, uh, which will give you about 350 euros a month. Uh, this is for students who are um, connected or their studies are connected with the Estonian language or culture. Uh, there's also compatriots scholarships. Uh, these are for people who have a uh, link to Estonia. So their grandparents or their parents uh, are Estonian, uh, they used to live uh, in Estonia or so on. There's uh, smart speciality scholarships. Uh, these are for students who uh, study in the field of uh, smart speciality and uh, they can apply for this scholarship specifically. Uh, for the students who are um, here in Estonia with the Erasmus program. Uh, so they are here for a short term uh, stay and uh, study, not a full degree program, uh, but an exchange program. Those can apply for Erasmus uh, plus scholarships. About master scholarships, uh, there are a lot more opportunities, uh, a lot more varied opportunities uh, to apply for on master level. Uh, there are a lot of study um, free or sorry tuition free study places uh, or tuition waiver, waivers for international students so you can actually get a full funding for your tuition fee and you don't have to pay anything um, this is a wonderful opportunity uh, especially there is a lot of opportunities for tuition free places in the fields of IT and engineering there's also Estonian National Scholarship Program, 350 euros monthly scholarship uh, for full-time study and also a scholarship uh, for summer or winter school participants. So if you're interested in coming over for just a winter school or summer school program for a week or two or three weeks, then you can also uh, get a scholarship to cover those costs. On master level, there's also the DORA a scholarship from the Action 2, uh, which is for, for master students. And this is meant only for full-time studies. On master level, there are uh, other opportunities like scholarships from companies and organizations. For example, uh, we've had uh, scholarships from Skype, uh, uh, Elhave or LHV Bank uh, located here in Estonia. So a lot of companies actually support international students in, uh, in studying in Estonia. So they will either cover your tuition fee or um, give you a stipend that you can spend uh, however you like. There are also smart speciality scholarships as on the bachelor level and uh, compatriot scholarships. So these are for young expatriate Estonians uh, to learn Estonian language or uh, Estonian culture or any other program that has to do with Estonia. On master scholarship, on master level, we also have scholarships uh, as a field scholarship uh, for those students who are collecting specifically data about Estonia or their thesis is about Estonia or Estonian language or in that area. Uh, Kindred People's Scholarship, this is um, a very unique scholarship program. Uh, this is meant for um, international students who are of a nationality or ethnic background uh, that is in the Finno-Ugric origin group. There are institutional scholarships uh, and Erasmus Plus scholarships as well. As I said, on bachelor level, there is also on master level for those doing a, um, um, a short-term study here in Estonia. Uh, what else? Uh, sorry, 
give me a second. And uh, on PhD level, uh, the news even get even better. Uh, on PhD level, the studies are tuition uh, free. So there is no tuition fee on PhD level. Uh, all the uh, public universities, uh, the uh, fees, uh, if he is zero in one of the private universities, Estonian Business School, there are tuition free uh, spots available so you can apply for them. Uh, there's also a monthly scholarship uh, for doctoral students uh, that is um, that all doc doctoral students get uh, in the value of 422 euros a month. Um, this a monthly stipend also covers your health insurance as a uh, international student, PhD student here in Estonia. So it also covers a lot of that cost uh, that you would otherwise have to get a um, an insurance, but you can actually, you don't have to do that as a PhD student because your health insurance is covered and you get health insurance like any other Estonian. So you don't have to worry about that at all, which is a wonderful opportunity. Uh, and then there's Estonian governmental scholarships for international doctoral students, again, in the value of 422 euros a month. And, um, uh, Dora scholarships from Dora Action 2 program uh, and Estafila scholarships for foreign students, again, collecting data about Estonia, the Estonian language, doing research or thesis in that area. Smart speciality uh, scholarships in the value of 422 euros a month again. Uh, so there are quite a lot of opportunities uh, you can apply for as a PhD student. Uh, you can apply to several of them at the same time. Uh, if you get awarded with one of the scholarships, you can also get awarded for a second or even a third one. Though you're, um, uh, it's not very probable that you will get all three different kinds or all four different kinds of scholarships, uh, but it is possible if you're a very good applicant or um, um, it, it makes sense that you uh, need uh, scholarships from all of those three different funds. Uh, and also there's uh, a scholarship for PhD students on the Kindred People Scholarship Program, as I said, uh, for the people who are in the same uh, ethnic Finno Greek origin group. And Erasmus Plus scholarships uh, across the world, European and international exchange studies. For researchers, so th for those people who are interested in doing a um, research in Estonia, uh, there are opportunities as well. Uh, there are different mobility grants. Uh, so if you want to do like uh, a short visit, uh, a research visit, um, those are opportunities that you can have a look at uh, for researchers, academic staff, uh, foreign institutions. So a wonderful opportunity for those interested in doing research, but a, a shorter period of time, uh, not a like a full length thing. Also, if you're interested in a very detailed, in-depth uh, information about all the scholarships that I just mentioned, uh, all of those are listed on our uh, website. A really brand new opportunity to check out all the listings, all the scholarships. Uh, it will improve uh, in the months to come. As I said, it's a very uh, new website, so the information will be continuously added to it and updated. Uh, it's on this link, hardidus.archimedes.ee uh, slash en slash scholarships. So uh, check out that website and keep checking it out. More information will be added, uh, more opportunities will open up. And this is a place also to, to check out the deadlines and make sure that you're on time with uh, applying to the scholarships. And this is the best option for you to get a really good overview of what are the different opportunities and make sure you don't miss a single uh, scholarship option out there. So uh, how to apply for uh, scholarships and uh, let's go through it step by step so you have a good understanding of what to do in uh, what order to do it. 
Uh, first of all, define what kind of scholarship do you need. Uh, are you a full-time uh, applicant? Do you want to just do an exchange as a part of Erasmus or something else? Uh, are you looking for a tuition, um, sorry, a scholarship that would cover your tuition fee? Or are you looking for a scholarship that would cover your living costs? Uh, some scholarships have, uh, are meant for different things. So you make sure that you know what the scholarship is meant to cover. Uh, are you doing a bachelor, master's or PhD studies? The scholarships in different fields are very different. Uh, what is the destination? Uh, do you want to come to study in Estonia or use it for mobility from Estonia? So are you interested in coming to study in Estonia or are you already studying in Estonia and want to get a, um, some support to do like maybe like a six month study somewhere else um, in European Union, for example? So it depends what your destination is. Uh, make sure you visit the website uh, of the scholarship get to get the full idea, full information, make sure you don't miss anything, read through it carefully. Um, I can say 99% of the times the information is on the website, it is clearly stated. Uh, in some cases, of course, there are tiny exceptions depending, maybe you have a very uh, specific request. But 99% uh, of the times it's uh, on the website, so make sure you read it carefully and really take your time to um, go through the steps. If you do have, however, any questions, uh, make sure you contact the specialist listed for that specific scholarship. They will have the best overview, uh, the best idea, the best, uh, the latest information about deadlines and so on. So if you do have like extra questions or you didn't quite understand something or you, there are, you know, two ways of understanding the information, make sure you contact the specialist and ask them directly. What do they mean? Are they sure this is what is meant? And so on. Uh, and make sure, this is the most important thing, make sure you present all the documents by deadline. So don't miss any deadlines. This is a very crucial thing. Uh, when it comes to scholarships, uh, we cannot accept the universities, companies, anyone um, giving you the scholarship cannot accept uh, scholarship applications after deadline. Um, deadlines are there for a reason, uh, it's fair to all the other applicants, uh, so make sure you're on time with your application documents, your documents are uh, in the right order, you have all the documents, nothing is missing, so and, and just give yourself a bit more time, don't do it in the final hour, uh, just give yourself a bit of time to make sure that everything was sent correctly and uh, the organization got it on time. Uh, so, about university scholarships. So, as with all the scholarships that I told you about, um, and all of the uh, opportunities are listed on our website. But if you want to get more information about uh, your specific university and what you're applying to, uh, you can also check out the university scholarship website uh, and get more information from there. Uh, for example, Tallinn University of Technology has a specific uh, scholarship website. You can check out from there as well the information, uh, checking double doesn't hurt, so uh, you can do that. But as I said, on our website, all of the scholarships will be listed centrally as well. Uh, Tallinn University of Technology, for example, also has tuition waivers. So uh, they will cover, for example, in some cases, your full tuition fee, which is a wonderful opportunity. Uh, University of Tartu also has a specific scholarship uh, website. Uh, Tallinn University, Estonian Business School. Um, you can check out their uh, information as well. 
Uh, the links to the rest of the universities, Estonian Academy of Arts, uh, Academy of Music and Theatre, Estonian University of Life Sciences, all of these are listed here. So later on, uh, when you go through the presentation in your own time, you can click uh, on the links and go straight to the universities and higher education institutions and check out the, the scholarships uh, that they offer. These are the two um, private higher education institutions, uh, Euro Academy and Estonian Entrepreneurship University of Applied Sciences. So, uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, and I hope you got a very quick, a very brief inter uh, overview of what the different uh, scholarships are, what we offer and how to get more information. This webinar especially was meant so you can get an overview of where to get the information uh, in detail. Uh, deadlines change, the sums uh, change, so make sure you keep yourself posted and I hope you got an overview of uh, where to uh, get the uh, most detailed information, how to go from there. And I hope you find your wonderful opportunity to study in Estonia and you find the, uh, the best options uh, when it comes to scholarships uh, for you. So thank you for joining us and hope to see you soon in Estonia. Bye.